Now to the National Governors Association summer meeting, which kicks off today in the capital city. Crews are yesterday making the final preparations for the dozens of VIPs expected in the city over the next three days. That will include Vice President Mike Pence and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. I sat down with Governor Raimondo this week, and you'll be hearing some of her thoughts about hosting her fellow governors throughout the morning. But right now, our coverage begins with Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods, live in Providence. Good morning. Well, those big name speakers won't be in town until tomorrow, but more than 30 governors from all across the country are expected to be here in Providence today. Here's some of their agenda. Now, the day will begin with the council governor's breakfast. That's at 830 this morning at the Omni Hotel, followed by several meetings on trade and international investment, where Governor Raimondo and others will meet with business leaders from China, Australia, Canada, Mexico, and Belgium. There will then be a presentation on innovation at the Rhode Island School of Design and a discussion on the opioid epidemic featuring Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker. Then tonight the governors will have a chance to relax and attend an event at PPAC celebrating the arts in Rhode Island. But now we've been mentioning this, but all of this is leading to several road closures in the city to be aware of. West Exchange Street near the convention center between Sabin Street and Service Road is closed through Sunday. Roads around PPAC will be closed tonight and near the State House tomorrow. Now, coming up in just 30 minutes, we will be looking at which governors will be attending this and why attendance is supposed to be even higher than expected and what is seen in the last couple of years. That's all coming up. Live at the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.